What's going on guys? It's so good to see you again. It's been an amazing time this summer doing a lot of fun things and this is going to be a fairly brief video because we're just launching right into the fall semester of 2019. Let's go. It's going to be awesome. Just want to recap, man, I've had an amazing summer uh, going to Vermont with Amory and my dad and meeting up with my sister and her boyfriend Griffin to spend some time with family in Vermont, my home state, which was really, really, really special. Also was able to go to the FCA leadership camp at Black Mountain to meet with high schoolers and spend some time with some students that just are wanting to be stronger leaders at their FCA huddles back on campus and in their areas. And also, of course, coming back from Ukraine, just an amazing time with the Ukrainian FCA team over there and playing against and with and training the national Ukrainian lacrosse team, as well as hosting two youth kids camps for FCA in Ukraine for the sport of lacrosse. I mean, God is just doing an amazing favor through FCA and I'm really, really blessed to be able to do these things. It's unreal. If you wanna see the highlight film that I made of my trip in Ukraine, the link is in the description or at the end of this video. But here we are, we're back stateside, we're hitting the ground running and going back to campus because schools are back in session. I'm excited to say that North Hills Christian, Carson High School, and West Rowan High School have already had their first FCA huddles, which is super exciting. And Catawba, I just met with the leaders over there, and they're getting ready to have their first FCA huddle coming up in September. Speaking of September, September 8th, we are having our leadership kickoff, which is going to be a time where high school students and Catawba slash college students can get together and have a full basically hour and a half, almost two hours of just planning for the next academic year, both fall and spring, which is really, really, really exciting. That being said, I wanna share a date with you all so you can put it on your calendars, and that is October 8th. We are having and hosting our second annual Fields of Faith event over at Catawba College in Shuford Football Stadium, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna have free food, live music from Catawba's campus band led by John Kale, and as well as hearing from our guest speaker, Colin Denton, who's gonna be bringing the word that night. And it's gonna be from 6.30 till whenever the evening ends prior till nine o'clock. We are going to complete and have an amazing time of worship. This is a student-led event where students are challenging their peers, their classmates and their teammates to come out to this event to hear the word of God, to read the word of God, and to listen to a message that is proclaiming the gospel of Jesus, the good news that we get to share with people in our community, as well as having a lot of fun and fellowship and eating a lot of good food. One thing I wanna to mention to you though, is to please be praying because there is one campus left that does not have FCA. Now, FCA isn't the saving grace of people in our area, that is Jesus Christ. FCA, however, gives us the ability to go into the campuses and onto the campuses and meet people that need to know who Jesus is. And that one campus that does not have FCA is Livingstone College. So please pray with me and a lot of others that are wanting FCA to be on Livingstone's campus. This goes way back to the first vision that God gave me way almost two years ago, and that is to see Catawba and Livingstone College have FCA huddles on their campuses. And because of those huddles, they're actually able to cross the train tracks and work together and see the redemptive work of the gospel being played at hand. So I'm really excited to say that we are officially up and running FCA here in Rowan County, and there's some exciting news. FCA is hiring. Because of all the amazing great things that have been going on in our area and the movement that God has been bringing and providing, his favor has been absolutely amazing. We are looking for another teammate to come on staff and to serve alongside me. There's a potential that I might actually move up into the area directorship role, and I'm gonna be needing some area representative teammates to come alongside me and to serve just this county. That's a pretty special thing to say because other counties have multiple, multiple campuses and there's really only a few people on staff with FCA in those areas. But because of God's favor, we get to actually be in a posture and a position to bring on someone onto this team. And I'm telling you from personal experience, something I was terrified to do with my life, which was join FCA staff. I actually trusted God and I would not change it. 
The favor I've seen from the Lord in the past two years, to be exact, a year and 10 months, has been unreal. I could never have planned these steps that I would take and I would consider doing in my life at the age of 26. So that's it for this month's uh, update. I just wanna say thank you all for being with me and partnering with me, whether that's in prayer, financial, or even just spending time with me and encouraging me along the way, being my own little Barnabas, as, as you will, sons of encouragement. But I wanna leave you with this one scripture, and it's from 1 Chronicles 28, verse 20. And it says this, David also said to Solomon, his son, be strong and courageous and do the work. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God, also my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the temple of the Lord is finished. So let's go, let's be strong, let's be courageous. Let's know that our God is with us. He's on us, on our side and he's for us. So as we move forward, as we press on, for the new academic year, I know personally that God is on our side and amazing things are gonna happen. They're gonna come. Of course, there might be some setbacks, but guess what? Whenever you're doing the Lord's work, there will be setbacks, but it depends on what you do to get past the setbacks that count. I love you all. Continue to have an amazing tail end of the summer and pressing on into the fall season, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.